So today in this video, I'm gonna show you how I use the iPad Pro to take notes and stay productive at work. Make sure you stick around. Hi, my name is Chad and I have a full-time career. I have three kids, a wonderful supportive wife. I also practice Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I exercise regularly and I also like to make videos. So I try to stay as productive as possible and I'm always looking for new tools or anything that can help me to keep up with all the things and tasks and all the balls I have juggling in the air. So in this video, I'm gonna cover a couple of things. One thing I'm gonna cover is the hardware that I use. So there'll be some gadgets and things you're probably gonna to want to pick up if you decide to use the iPad Pro to stay productive. I mean, these are just extras that you kinda of have to buy, right? It's Apple. But I'm also gonna share some software that I use to take notes and to help me stay a little more productive. All right, so first, let's talk about six pieces of hardware, don't worry. I'm not gonna bore you with all the details on everything. I just wanna go over the six pieces of hardware that I thought I would need. And to be honest, they've proven to be very useful for me. So I would probably suggest uh, you pick up these or at least look into these. And the first thing I think you should pick up is some kind of protective cover. For me, I picked up the uh, Logitech. Don't worry about taking notes. I'm gonna have everything in the description below. So you can just click on that. It'll take you over to Amazon. You can check it out in more detail. But I did pick up the Logitech Slim Folio Pro for the 12.9 inch. And I think at the time I bought this one, it set me back about maybe about a hundred bucks, but I think they're cheaper now. But the reason I picked up this one is because basically it comes with this, um, this keyboard and I like that right now. I found times that I didn't like the keyboard. Like I thought maybe I would want it without the keyboard, but to be honest, I use the keyboard quite often when taking notes by myself. Um, and so it's proven to be quite useful. The other thing I liked about this is this little flap here. Okay. And it's a magnetic flap that goes over and it keeps it nice and closed. But additionally, what it'll do is it'll take this pen, right? This, or the pencil, we'll take the Apple pencil, put it here, keeps it nice and secure. I can do this and it keeps it nice and secure, but I don't really trust that as much. So it has this really cool feature where you can take, it's got a little pocket for the Apple pencil. You slot it in, it doesn't eat up the battery. It keeps it separated. So the pencil is not attached to the actual iPad Pro and that way it's not draining the battery. battery. And there you have it. Now. Again, I like the fact that it has a keyboard. The only thing I don't like about the keyboard is it has one angle and that's it. A lot of these um, covers will have multiple angles, but this one only has one. So that's something I don't like about it. Something else I do like about it is the fact that it um, keeps all the edges nice and covered. So you can see here, this edge is nice and covered, covered. It really protects the edges all the way around. So that I do like about the Logitech Simflow. The Logitech Slim Folio. So that's the first thing I like about this cover and it has, you know, cutouts for the camera. It's pretty slim as you can see, it has openings for the charging ports and uh, yeah, it's just an all rail pretty nice keyboard uh, setup. Um, you don't have to use it like this if you don't want. You can actually pop it like this and use, flip it right over or flip it all the way over with the keyboard showing. Most of the time when I do this thing and I'm taking notes, I use it like this. Okay. So that's the first piece of hardware that I think you're gonna need. The second thing you're gonna need is obviously a screen protector. I'm not gonna talk about that in this video. Screen protectors just protect the, protect the screen, obviously, so you're not scratching it up. So I would definitely invest in that as well. Third piece of hardware would be the Apple Pencil. Why do I like this Apple Pencil? Well, for one, I don't think you can get the full use of the iPad without having the pencil. I mean, yeah, you can take notes, and when you're in a meeting, you can certainly be clicking away on the keyboard if you want, but I think it's better if you don't do that, right? If you're in a meeting and it's quiet, the last thing you wanna do is be clicking away on your keyboard, especially if it's not a work computer, right? You don't wanna stand out like a sore thumb, and that's where I think the Apple Pencil really comes in handy. All you have to do is flip it over and just start taking notes like that, and it makes it really useful. So the Apple Pencil is something I think that you would wanna pick up if you wanna use this thing to stay productive and to take notes. Um, as well as I do, because I tell you, it makes a huge difference. So the time I purchased the Apple Pencil, it set me back about $135, but I think you can pick those up for around about 120 now on Amazon, but you might wanna go and check that out. I'll put a link in the description below. All right, so the fourth thing you wanna pick up is um, some sort of external hard drive, okay? This is a SanDisk, I picked this up on Amazon. This is a 500 gig um, SSD. You, you're gonna wanna pick up something like this so you can have some, some sort of external room expansion to save files, pictures, things like that, because you can run out of room really fast on these iPads unless you get like the terabyte one, which I'm not sure how much that one is, but I didn't get that one. You can pick these up really cheap now, and the fact that they come out with a new iPad iOS, um, dedicated iOS, right, for the iPad, then that makes the iPad just that much more user-friendly for people like me, 
who really use this thing as not just a tablet, but also a computer. And you know, in the past, these things used to be like just glorified iPhones, but now they're much more like a computer. So make sure you get one of these. The third thing you wanna get is something um, like this. You kinda see that there, it has a lightning port for that and it's just a USB port. So you're gonna wanna pick up one of these because that plugs right into here and it allows you to plug in things like your SSD drive. Or you can pick up something like this where it has a USB port but also has room for your memory cards, right? You have room here to slide in these memory cards. You also have room for the little smaller uh, memory cards, the little micro SD cards, if you will. That it has room there as well. Um, but you're gonna wanna pick up one of these. This actually has a USB there, so this could take the place of this and, and it would allow you to have you know more options with the SD cards and that kind of thing. The third thing you're gonna want to pick up especially if you're a professional that does a lot of presentations is this okay it has a HDMI portal on one side and the other end is for plugging into the iPad and the reason you're gonna to want to pick this up because if you're a professional more than likely you're doing presentations and plugging your iPad into this will allow you to do presentations on the overhead screen it'll also allow you to plug into a TV anything that has an HDMI portal you can just plug in and whatever's on your um, iPad will also show up on the screen I mean if you're taking notes it'll show up so you can draw graphs and all this sort of stuff and it will show up on the screen it's great for instructing so I teach a lot of classes uh, where I work so if you're teaching classes or if you're just giving a presentation and you want to you know write formulas or graphs or whatever it is charts you have the Apple pencil you have the iPad you have your HDMI port so now I want to get into the software and specifically two applications that I want to talk about the first one is notability and it's the one it's my go-to for taking notes okay it's the one I use all the time at work when I'm taking notes on the go I can just pop this thing open take a few notes and it's there I love drawing graphs on this I mentioned using the HDMI port to draw graphs you know when you're teaching classes or if you're just giving some sort of presentation this notability is what I use to also do that. So let's just dive into that right now. So we go into the iPad. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up down, down at the very bottom. You see, um, you see this blue little app here with the pencil and the mic on top. You click on that, and right away you see that it opens up the app. And now here you have on the left hand side you have notes. You can see already that I have some uh, notes in here in Divider. So there's two things you can do, right? You can hit the plus symbol here. Once you click on that, it says create subject or create divider. Well, you know, the dividers uh, actually group subjects. So let's say I wanted to create a divider, and it gives me a new um, option there to name the divider. So I'll just put test here. So I'm going to come back and delete this later. All right, so I'll do test and done. So now I have my new divider, but there's nothing in there. So I want to create a subject, right? So then again, I go up here and hit plus again, and then I go create subject. And let's say I want to call this subject um, test one. Test one oops test one done all right so now it's but test one's not under test all you have to do is put your finger on test and hold it in and it now you can move that down right under test and it becomes a subject under that divider now let's click on test or just click that with the apple pencil and you can see right now on the right hand side of the screen it says tap to compose um it says tap the compose button above to create new note so all you have to do is come up to the far right and you can see it's like a sheet of paper with a pencil click on that and here we are with new notes you can see right here at the very top in the little margin there it has note and it has the actual date and um, it has the time you can click on that and you can change any of that okay so let's say I just want to call this you know my note and you can call this anything right but my notes there it is right and you have options in the in the settings you can go in and take out the date and the time if you don't want that to show up I kind of like it so there it is now here's what else is cool about this all right if you go to the far you can see at the very top there there's some light blue options right if I got to the top right on the far hand side you see a plus a little uh, wrench there and then you also see some papers right if I were to go to the plus sign you can see you can add photo library camera you can take a picture and insert in here gifts webs anything that you want to do right you can insert pictures graphs so that you can use those in your notes additionally if you go right beside the plus symbol to the tools, it has paper info and help. Well, paper is what I want to focus on here is your utilities. And you can change the color. All right. You can use any of these colors they have. I like using black a lot of the times. And then you can also add in lines so it can help guide you. And sometimes I'll take notes, right? So I'll come over and I might take some, oops, I'll come over, I'll pick my pen here and I'll take some notes, right? I'll take notes just using the lines there to stay straight. And then I'll come back in, hit the paper or the little, uh, wrench there for utilities paper and then I will remove the lines leaving me just with my notes all right and it's pretty cool actually let me go back in here I'm gonna go um, what this does is if you go beside the wrench and hit paper 
and now you're seeing how many note pages you have so far. It has two. Um, as you go on and on and on, it will go to page three, page four, page five. And what I like about that is, let me just hide that, you can just keep scrolling. So it shows you a break there in the middle of the screen, right? And that's the page three, that's page four, right here, page five, right here. All right, and then if I go back into my pages, you can see that now it has all the way up through page five, okay? Now let's go back up to page one, I'll use my note here, then I'm gonna take this out. If I want to erase, the cool thing is I double tap on the pencil and you can see at the very top there, see how it's going from pen to eraser. I'm just double tapping on the pencil, going to eraser. I'm going to erase all that out. I'm going to double tap, go back to pencil. And then I might come in here and I can change the color, okay? And if I want to take notes, you can see it's pretty cool. Watch this. Hi, my name is Chad. Now, I wrote that pretty sloppy, at least my name. If I come in here and click the little scissors, and I highlight around my around what I just typed. Okay, now it's showing that border there. And then I tap. It says convert to text. It goes style, duplicate, cut, copy, and then convert to text. If I convert to text, let's see if it reads it. Hi, my name is Chad. It did a pretty good job. So you can convert that section there. And now it will say, hi, my name is Chad. The only thing is it's in black. So I need to change that to white. Here it is. Hi, my name is Chad. I'm just going to convert that to white so you can see it. Hi, my name is Chad. Now, additionally, if I come back in and I take notes, Let's say I wanna just take a few notes here in maybe uh, white, or let's do gray. So if I do gray and I go, today has been a great day. All right, so now let's say I wanna come in and highlight something. I wanna highlight maybe in yellow, part of that. So I just click the highlighter, and I wanna highlight today, today, and day. You can do that as well. So it has a highlighter function. So I think that's really great. Now again, Notability is only $9.99. It's a great app and I hope that you at least get some sense of how easy it is to use. Let's say, for example, you're on the run, right? So I'm gonna show you really quickly because I saw this on LinkedIn one time. People were, were saying something about, you know, I don't like electronic notes because I might wanna jot something down quickly and I like just opening up a notebook. Well, the cool thing is, is that Apple has made that easy with their own application, Notes, okay? So let's say I'm on the run and somebody says something and I just wanna take, a, I just wanna jot that down. I can just open it up right and it's still locked use the end that you write with and all you have to do is tap on the screen and right away notes opens up now i have my options down here but it is open um, you can write on this you can jot down a quick note and the reason i like that is you, you don't have to unlock it it's still locked down in the background all you have to do is later on when you have some time you can go in copy that note out if you want to use notability now if you're using notes anyway you don't have to do anything you can just leave it in there but if you're using notability you can copy out that note paste it over to notability or you can bring up the screens together because now with the new software upgrade the ipad ios you can just bring up those screens side by side and copy the note down so that makes it really easy and so that's really it that's how i use the ipad to stay organized stay productive and take notes at work i hope you got value out of this video if you did make sure to give me that thumbs up subscribe to my youtube channel keep me going i appreciate all the support you're giving me. Thanks again, and I will see you in the next video.